Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lecture of exception handling series, we discussed about how to handle exceptions and we discussed it theoretically, right? So this is the flow diagram from our previous lecture, right? Wherein we discussed about how the exception handling works, right? Then we discussed about how we can handle the exceptions using try, catch, finally throw and throws keywords, right? So today we are going to discuss about uh, or we are going to focus on try and catch block and in the subsequent sections we will be discussing about finally throw and throws keywords and later we will be discussing some interview questions as well which are generally asked from the exception standpoint right so try is the first and foremost block in exception handling or you can say this is the first step so wherever we are getting an exception or wherever for example we are expecting uh, exception exception so what we can do, we can enclose that line of code with try. So if you remember, we discussed in our previous lecture that as soon as exception occurs, a uh, object is created of that particular exception and that is handed over to the runtime system, right? Then runtime system will start looking for exception handler. So in this case, we are able to enclose the exception, but there is no exception handler so far. So let us move to catch block. So catch block is nothing but an exception handler. So as soon as the exception is thrown or object of uh, exception is created, the control, the runtime will start looking for appropriate catch block. That is appropriate exception handler, right? So what do we mean by exception handler? Meaning, for example, this particular line of code, if we are getting no such element exception, then this catch block should be capable to handle no such element exception. If it is handling any other exception, then this is not the appropriate catch block or accept, uh, appropriate exception handle. So let us jump to the theoretical, sorry, practical discussion without further delay. So I have created one sample program, right? So this is my main method wherein I'm calling test method, right? Here I have initialized one array, which has five elements starting from 0th index till 4th index. Then what I'm doing, I'm passing this array and calling another method that is test1, right? Here I'm trying to access A of 5, which is out of bound, meaning this does not, does not exist for the array because we have array up till 0 to 4, right? Because array start from 0th index. Though we have 5 elements, but the array will start from 0 up till 4. So we are now trying to print A of 5. So let me run the program and see what will happen so if you observe we got some exception index 5 out of bound and it says array index out of bound exception we got what does that mean meaning we are trying to access that index which does not exist right so what we can do to handle it so the first step is as we discussed we discussed about using a try block so if you remember, simply I'll enclose this particular line of code because this was causing error. So I'll simply enclose this with try. Now you see there is an error, right? If you hover over here, you see add catch or finally is expected. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to type in catch. So once you will add catch, it will say add some parameter. So let me first uh, complete the syntax. So what type of uh, like, uh, parameter I need to provide because we are expecting array index out of bound, right? So we need to simply provide array index out of bound, right? So this is, and this is the reference variable. So this is what we were discussing about appropriate catch block because we are expecting uh, array index out of bound. So we, the catch block should be able to handle array index out of bound exception. So now let me run the program once again. So you see, we don't see the stack trace, meaning the system is able to handle the exception. So uh, once we got the exception in try and we have uh, appropriate catch block, the control will go here, right? Then after you can write your uh, like steps or actions, whatever the actions you want to perform, you can perform, right? Depending on need. So for example, what I can do, I can write uh, try with lower index, right? For example, let me call it 4 now because we tried with 4, 
we tried with 5 this time it is going to be 4 so in this case what will happen i will simply uh, type in try with lower index 4 because there was some exception right alongside what i can do uh, i can simply print the uh, error as well whatever the error we got so you see try with lower index because of this exception so i let me give a space as well you see there is no space so i'm running it once more so you see try with lower index for this is the statement that we have printed and this is the exception that we got right we got index 5 out of bound for length 5 so this is how we can use try and catch block to handle the exception so next we will be discussing about inappropriate catch block and then we'll be discussing about multiple catch blocks and later we'll be discussing about finally block so uh, that is it for now thank you for watching in case you like my video please like share and subscribe and share it with others as well thank you once again for watching